Okay, we are going to talk about stress dosing of cortisol and this is Dr. Prakasam uh, joining you in this pediatric endocrine session. Cortisol is used in multiple different settings and two common things in pediatric endocrinology will be the Addison's disease where you are not making um, cortisol because there is an issue with the adrenal gland. You are not making cortisol because there is not enough signals coming from the pituitary gland for whatever reason or there is congenital adrenal hyperplasia where there is a block in enzymes. So normally the cortisol has a diurnal variation throughout the day and it keeps secreting as the body's needs changes. However, in times of a crisis which is high temperature, you go through an injury, some kind of stress which is happening, the body will automatically secrete excessive amount of cortisol. If that is not possible because of one of the diseases we mentioned, you lead into Addisonian crisis or adrenal crisis because you are not responding to an emergency. So if your patient is needing cortisol therapy, you have to remember a crisis situation can happen. During the crisis, when the temperature is above 101, the child is hospitalized, child has a pneumonia, child is on uh, some kind of stressful situation like a fractured bone. Anything you think the stress level of the child is increased, you have to double the dose of steroids and sometimes if it is severe to triple dosing of steroids. Otherwise, you'll go into adrenal crisis and end up in the hospital. So always remember to think about and talk about stress dosing when the child is on cortisol. Thank you.